looking for the perfect travel backpack because today I, I might have found it for you. Last year before our Hawaii trip, I reviewed this thing, the Packed One Viral Sensation Online. This thing went, it went wild on the internet for how, how clever of a design it was. And a year later, it's still my favorite bag for five to seven day trips. But today we're looking at a new design from Packed the packed travel backpack. If you guys find this video helpful, maybe you uh, hit that like button. Think about subscribing for more videos like this. See, I've always been, I've always been a backpack guy from tons and tons of camera bags to all the different travel camera backpacks that I've tried in the past. I like, I like backpacks. And then the packed one kind of threw me for a loop because it was so good that it got me off the backpack train and into the duffel bag world. And even while I appreciate all the different design features of the packed one, I kind of always wished it was a backpack. So when I heard that they were working on one with Chase Reeves, I was, I was pretty stoked. And the timing, it couldn't be more perfect actually because while well, we haven't done a lot of traveling this year, you know, pandemic and everything, this thing was already packed and ready to go for our annual Lake Powell trip. So when Packed called and said, hey, we have a backpack for you, I was like, can you, can you send it quick? We're leaving soon. So we're gonna see if everything that I fit in here fits into here. But first, let's go over some features. And the first thing is that this is a 30 liter backpack, which, which is smaller than I've traveled with in the past. I normally would travel with a 40 liter backpack. When I switched to the Pack 1, this is a 35 liter. And now to the packed backpack, it's 30 liters. So I'm a little concerned on if everything's gonna fit in here from here into here, but I think with how cleverly this seems to be laid out, I think there'll be places for everything. The actual material for this backpack is, it's a, a recycled material. They say that it's made from single use water bottles that have been recycled and turned into a backpack. That alone is pretty sweet. But the key, the key to backpacks in my opinion is accessibility. Again, how easy is it to access the stuff I have inside the backpack? And one key to that is exterior pockets. A lot of a lot of bags these days, like my Peak Design bag that I love, there's no there's no exterior pocket here. They took this whole panel and, and didn't make it a pocket. I would have loved to see a pocket there. But on the packed backpack, it's it's covered in pockets. This whole this whole top piece up here, boom, waterproof pocket. So this this top bit here, I could throw my I could take my dop kit here. That you know you're worried that. What if something in here spills and it gets all over my clothes? Pop that in this waterproof top piece and you don't have to worry about that. Boom, tucked away. Down from there, there's a, uh, a pretty big, it's like a thin pocket. Like this whole, this whole next piece is one big pocket and it's got, it's got a couple little pockets inside the pockets. This is also where your little, your key hook is, always nice to have a key hook. And then down from there one more time is another pocket on the front of the bag right here. Boom, big pocket at the bottom. This one's actually like a little deeper. For some reason this pocket feels deeper than, than the top pocket. Then flipping to the side, this side is uh, it's two grab handles because you're gonna see that this whole thing opens up, but it's two grab handles there on the side. And then this other side is a big old water bottle pocket, which again, a lot of bags are ditching the water bottle pocket and I don't know why we want water bottles. I actually don't know if my, my big water bottle fits. This is a one of the double walled 32 ounce bottles. So I'm not sure, that's pretty big. Let's see if it fits. Oh, there's also side straps. So if you wanna strap something to the side of your backpack, this is the side to do it. Kinda would have been nice to put them on this side of the back. Oh, you could switch them. So these straps could be on this side of the backpack or they could be on this side of the backpack. If you put them on this side though, then you wouldn't be able to open the backpack if you had something hooked on there. But on this side, if you're using something, then you would block the water bottle pocket. You gotta make a choice. It feels big. Let's see if it fits in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it fits my big water bottle. That's super impressive. That's a good water bottle holder. A lot of water bottle holders don't fit this model in particular. That fits it easily. Okay, moving on from there though is it's, I think it's my favorite feature in the backpack because what I like about backpacks, my, my favorite thing on backpacks is hidden pockets. Especially while we're traveling, if I have cash, if I have my passports, I have our, our boarding passes, anything like that, I want them, I want them hidden. I don't want them somewhere where someone could reach in and grab it and sneak out of there. And with the packed, boom, on the back panel, there's two pockets. The first one is a bit obvious because 
I'm gonna undo this. It's a bit obvious because there's a there's a zipper pull right here, but this whole lumbar area unzips so you can hide stuff down in here. So this whole bit is a is a pocket in here. And then just like on this guy, they've got that TSA pocket where you can pull this out, lay it down as you go through TSA, unzip that, take everything out of your pockets, slide it in there, go through TSA, and then when you're on the other side of TSA, you just grab your backpack and you go. Go to the gate, then put your stuff back in your pockets. Don't be that guy sitting at TSA holding everyone up because you're trying to put everything back in your pockets. That's what uh, that's what that pocket's for. But still a sweet feature to have. And again, I, I love pockets, especially on the back panel of backpacks because it feels like the most hidden spot. Unless you're this backpack, in which case there's, there's one spot even more hidden. I don't even know how I'm gonna show it to you. It's in, it's in there, but you reach down in here and it's, it's solidly difficult to access. It's actually on the back of this back panel. It's pretty sneaky. I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say it's my finger length deep in there, but that would be a killer spot to hide some cash. It could totally fit a passport. And then when you zip it back away, I mean, that is, you can't tell there's a pocket there. You don't see it at all. You can, I can barely show it to you. It's in there. Inside there is another pocket. It's the whole width of this back panel. And again, it's a few, it's like your finger length deep. So again, just on the outside of this bag, there's the, the big waterproof pocket up here. There's this pocket for lots of organization. There's this pocket here. There's a water bottle pocket. There's a bottom secret pocket and a top secret pocket all on the exterior of this bag. Some good thinking went into the design of this bag. Okay, let's get into the main bit about this bag and it's that even though it looks like a backpack, it opens like a suitcase, which is so key to this design. The whole, the whole design is, even though it feels like you're rocking a backpack, the accessibility is that of a clamshell suitcase. Cause on my, I used to use this North Face bag a lot for travel. And the issue is that it, you open the top and then that's my only way to get to all my stuff. So if something is on top of something, and then the thing I'm trying to get to is at the bottom, it's it's a little challenging. But with this, boom, I open it up and I, I just feel like I have a, a suitcase with me. This side, he's got the mesh bit on it, has a internal compartment pocket right up here for some, some knickknacks. Then even on the mesh, the mesh itself is a pocket. This whole this whole mesh panel is a pocket. And then on this side, this is the, the laptop bit. So just like on the packed one, your laptop goes inside the bag. So when you clamshell it, your laptop is in between all your clothes and your stuff. And that's, that's how it protects it. And something I'm super excited about for this laptop compartment is on this bag, I, I said in my review video, I said that they should take the, the laptop thing and they should sew it a little higher. Cause on this bag, if I put my laptop in the laptop compartment, there's there's nothing at the bottom here. So my laptop actually is kind of almost touching the ground through the bag, but it's almost touching the ground when it's on there. And I said, you should sew like a half an inch up so that it never does that. And look, they, they did that. They sewed it on this one. So this is a floating laptop compartment. I don't know if it can hold my computer. I have the new MacBook 16 inch. It's a little big. Let's find out. All right, MacBook Pro 16 inch test of the backpack, backpack, ooh. Like a glove, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. And look, see that it's sewn right here. So when I put my backpack down, it never it never touches the ground. I appreciate when brands listen. Oh look, I just, I just realized this says packed in collaboration with Chase Reeves. If you guys don't know who Chase Reeves is, he knows everything about backpacks and gear like this. So check out his channel if you get a chance. All right, so that is the, the laptop compartment, but this side obviously also opens up and you've got, you got all the space over here. You've got some mesh pockets on the inside. A little skinny, but you know, for tall, long things. Oh yeah, you can feel, oh, it's super padded right here, but you can also feel the, the frame. There's a metal frame going around the perimeter of this panel, which, which gives the backpack some rigidity. It doesn't just kind of flop. Very nice to hold, hold its form. Okay, let's get this thing loaded up. I'm gonna see if everything that I normally pack in my 35 liter packed one duffel fits in the 30 liter packed one backpack. Packed one backpack? Packed backpack. This is the packed one. This is the packed backpack. All right, first things first, we've got our packing cube. This for, we're going to Lake Powell, so we're going to a lake. It's, it's board shorts and t-shirts mainly. All my clothes fit into one. I'm gonna go sideways. I think I can fit it. So 
So boom, we got that on that side. And then while that waterproof compartment is nice, I don't have anything in here that's gonna leak. So I'm gonna put my dop kit in here as well. And I think that's all that's gonna go on the mesh side. That fits great. Oh, laundry bag. Let's pop that right there on top. Beautiful. This side, I got a rain jacket because we get a lot of crazy weird storms at Lake Powell. Got some rainbow flip-flops and I got some Sanook shoes. That's, that's all that I'm packing for this trip. It's a seven day trip, but we really don't pack a lot of clothes. Okay, and that is all that I had packed in my pack one and it fits great. It's really, there's actually a lot of extra room in here. I feel like I could really stuff this way more full. The nice thing about that though, the nice thing about not stuffing it totally full is usually I put chargers in my backpack. So my camera bag has kind of the stuff that I'm actually like working with day to day, like the cameras, the batteries, the lenses, but then chargers, stuff like that. I'll, I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of find slots in here and just start filling them with all the assortment of chargers that I bring. Good waist strap. The sternum strap is kind of slick because the sternum strap well, it's very high right now, hold on. The sternum strap, the chest strap is cool because it's got clips on both sides. So I can unclip it from this side and, and then reclip it, or I can unclip it from this side and reclip it. Or if I don't want that at all, I just take off the strap. And then up top, even on this bag, there's there's load adjusters. So these little guys, I can go up, I can crank that forward a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. This is a comfortable backpack. Oh, I could cruise around in this thing all day. Oh, I almost forgot to show you maybe one of the, the most fun things about this backpack. Okay, great, great waist strap, good hip support with this thing, but check this out. With the little Velcro, you just gotta break it free first. And then once that's free, the waist strap pulls out. And that sounds like, hey, that's cool. Good that it pulls out. You can choose to have it or choose to not, but it gets better because this waist strap is, it's a fanny pack. It's its own fanny pack or, or sling pack if you're really cool and trendy. I'm not cool and trendy, so I think I would just be a dork and wear it on my waist. <laughs> but let's pretend for today, like I was one of the cool kids. Oh, is this how you do it? It's too tight. That's not how you do it. <laughs> okay, check that out. I have a, a fanny pack or sling pack, whatever you wanna do, that I can cruise around town with. And it's got a big, it's really big actually. It's got two different pockets in there with magnets on the outside. Yeah, so you can get to your destination, get to where you're going. Your waist pack pulls out of your backpack and then boom, you've, you've got like a little walk around town sling bag. That is, solidly clever. That is my favorite feature about this backpack. I don't even know that I'm gonna use it that much. I don't, I'm not sure that I'm much of a sling pack kind of guy, but that's genius. And I love, I love clever people. Clever people coming up with, with clever designs, a fanny pack that is the waist strap for your travel backpack. Genius. I don't know if that was the guys that packed or that was, that was Chase Reeves, but one of you guys pat yourself on the back. Okay, let's wrap this thing up. There's two features actually that, that weren't on the website. I didn't even see it in Chase's video when he kind of explained this the first time, but they are on the bag. They first one is a, a trolley pass-through. So if you want to put this on, on your wife's rolling suitcase, you totally can. Huh? I totally do that all the time. <laughs> and then also I wondered if these were detachable so they could stow away, and they are. It's actually a pretty clever little like, you pull this bit out, you turn it, and then boom, this is detachable and then it can tuck into the back panel. And then boom, you can have a, uh, a, a strapless backpack. You'd have to pull this out also if you didn't want that dangling. But both of those features are on, are on this, on this backpack. I'm super stoked with it. I'm, I'm very pumped so far. As a first look and a first pack, I'm very, I'm very happy to have packed it and I'm pretty pumped to use it. I'm only bummed that we don't have more trips lined up for this year. I think, I think we have Lake Powell and then maybe Big Bear a few more times and then maybe a road trip later. Can't really go a lot of places. But if you're jonesing for travel, if you're dreaming of travel, now's the fun time to go online and figure your kit out, find a new bag, try it out, get ready, be prepared when the borders do open and we can go travel internationally again and US citizens aren't looked at like a plague around the world. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the packed travel backpack. I'm, uh, 
super stoked on this thing. I feel like I keep finding features that I didn't know were there. Did I say that it's water resistant? The whole, the whole outside and the zippers and everything, water resistant. So you could be in the rain and it's okay. There is a rain cover that, that is for this. There's a whole rain fly if it's like really dumping rain, but no. They did not send me the rain fly. So if I get caught in the pouring down rain, I'll get a little wet, but not super wet. Cause again, water resistant fabric. Okay, we're gonna go to Lake Powell. I'll see you, I'll see you soon.